In the Quran, how many wives are you supposed to have? Four. Four wives. How many wives did he have? I'm, I'm, I'm the wife. Jesus said, Listen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Okay, why? Why? You need light. Why not marry? Why? Why? You need light. Why not marry? You need the light in your life. Jesus is the light. Muhammad, Ibrahim, and the Musa, Isa, Sulaiman, all, the world, all marry. The world, 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 Where's Muhammad now? Muhammad for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where is it? Muhammad for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muslims, where is it? He's dead. Jesus died and rose again. Where are your He died and rose again. Where are your father? He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Where are your father? He's come to give your life, new power in your life, new joy in your life. New power, sir. New life in your life. Life and power in your life. Joy in your life. That's what you can have in Jesus. He can set you free. He can set you free, my friend, and give you new life and new joy today. If you want to know Jesus, all you got to do is confess. Say, I'm sorry for my sin, and put your faith in Jesus, and he'll be your savior. Do it while you can, because there is a hell. There is a hell. There is a judgment. If you sow badness, you'll get judged for it. And then there is a judgment day. So trust him while you can. Trust him while you can. Trust him while you can. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the light of the world. He is the bread of life. He can give you joy and power and hope in your life. My friends, you need Jesus Christ. He'll give you new life, new hope, new power. He'll quicken you out of darkness into new life. The world is passing away. The wrath of God is upon the world. He's coming. The wrath of God is coming. The last day, as it said, there'll be more wars, there'll be more rumors of wars, there'll be more earthquakes in the last days. We see more earthquakes, we see more wars, and the Bible is true. And Jesus said that he'll come back. And when he comes back, will you believe? Or will you walk the way of the world? Now is the time of salvation, now is the day of salvation. Now is the time to come to him. Now is the time to find peace. Now is the time to find hope. Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches and you cannot bear fruit unless you're in the vine. You cannot bear fruit unless you're in Jesus. You cannot bear fruit unless you're in him. 216 times, 216 times, 216 times in the Bible. 216 times in the Bible it says this in Christ in Christ you've got to be in Christ if you're not in Christ you're in the devil if you're not in Christ you're in the way of the world if you're not in Christ you're in the way of man you need to be in Christ and have that new life that new hope that new vision in your life that God can fill you with his love that God can fill you with his joy that God can fill you with his power and then you can be born again by the power of the Holy Ghost, born again with new life, where you can love God, praise God, worship God, because the Holy Spirit is in your life. Jesus Christ gave his life for you on that cross. There's a story of a, of a millionaire. I've said this before, but there's a story of a millionaire. And his son died in the First World War. And he was broken hearted, so he had a portrait done of him, a picture. Is that what you said it before? Yeah, I'm saying that again. Oh. It's a good story. He had this picture done of his son. And you know, one day, the picture was not very good. One day his son, uh, one day the millionaire died. And all the family were greedy and they came for the money. And the solicitor said, before I read the, the will out, 
we're going to sell this picture, auction it. And there, the picture of the millionaire's son, it was scruffy, wasn't worth much. No one would buy it, no one bothered to buy it. Well, the cleaner did, the janitor did, he bought it for a few pounds. Then the solicitor said this, he said, the millionaire says this, the one who bought my son's picture inherits everything. My friends, if you have Jesus Christ, the Father's Son, you inherit everything. If you don't have the Son, you don't have anything. If you have the Son, you have everything. Jesus Christ said that He is the light. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He said, I am the bread of life. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. He said these things. He pointed to Himself. He pointed to himself. In a second, you can ask a question. I'll let you ask a question in a minute. He pointed to himself. No prophet pointed to themselves. They pointed to God, but he pointed to himself. There's only one way to be saved, and that's in Jesus Christ. Not Muhammad, not Buddha, not atheism. The only way to be saved is in him. I know this. I know the forgiveness. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it says, If you confess your sin, he is faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Are your sins forgiven? Are your sins forgiven? My sins. You could be forgiven. You don't know. See, we know, friend. It says, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to cleanse you from all He's faithful and just to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So, it's the word of God saying that if you confess your sin and believe that Jesus died for you. You can be forgiven because when listen when Jesus died on that cross. I didn't know he died. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to in a minute. That's a good question. When Jesus died on that cross, he died as a murderer, but he never murdered. He died as a thief, but he never thieved. Injustice. He died for you. No, because in Isaiah 53, the word of God in Isaiah 53, the prophet says, and you believe the prophets. The prophet said this: He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That is a prophecy. 800 years before Jesus, it was prophesied that he would die on a cross for you, my friend. Now, what did you want to ask me? I want to ask you, did Jesus have a God? So Jesus said, I'm, gonna, I'm returning to your God and my God. Okay, let me... Did Jesus have a God? All right. And he well, prayed to God. I'll answer your question. One times one times one is what? Why times one? Why no, not no, add? No, 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 plus no, one no, plus no, 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 no. Let me show you. Ta one times one times one. What is it? One plus one plus one is three. No. No, come on. Times, one I'm times multiply. one times one is what? No, let, I'll answer the question. Why no, multiply? Let, answer the question. Why multiply? You're not being honest. Just yeah. answer the question. One. One. Why right. So you got three ones and one. Right. So don't come this one. What one? Is Wait one a minute. No, no. You Muslims come. One plus one plus one is three. I'm giving it you another mathematical way. One times one times one is one. So you can have three in one. Three in one. Yeah, Show me anywhere in the Who's world. Superior. Let me let me ask you something. Superior. Show me anywhere in the world. World where you can have one essence and no difference within the essence. Name me one thing. So there's a difference in the essence. Yeah. Let me just say, I accept the argument. Yeah. Right. The difference in the essence, one is superior. So the one that is superior is the one that you're supposed to pray to, right? No, no. But Jesus prayed to the superior no, you're talking, one. You can ask the question. Name me one essence. Name me one essence in the universe. Even if for the sake of argument. Name me one essence in the universe where there is no difference within it. I said for the sake of argument, I agree with you. Right. Okay. So End of debate. Jesus, yeah, pray to End, of debate. End of debate. God, End of debate. End of debate. Reality that we know. We know that within reality. We have one and the many. Within God, we have one and three. So, so math Jesus, wait a minute. Mathematically, you have not dealt with it. Philosophically, we've not dealt with it. Now let's get to your scripture. In, in your scripture, in the Quran, wait a minute. In your Quran, in your Quran, it says that that God is the beginning and the end, right? That is what the names of the 99 names of, of, of Allah, yeah? That God is the beginning and the end. Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, oh, the beginning, the, guy, the prophet, beginning right? and the he end. Said he's the beginning okay. and the end. Wait, 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 wait. Omega, right? Let me finish. Let me finish. Not only Jesus said that. Let me finish. There's other people that said that. I've shown, I've shown mathematically, philosophically, and from your own Quran that Jesus. End of debate. End of debate. Jesus, have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? I lied. 
How do you know you're going to be forgiven on the day of judgment? Because I ask God to give me forgive me. If I ask the Father to forgive me, forgive the self. And I pray like you pray. And I ask the Father to forgive us. Who's the Father not forgiven? Have you got forgiveness now? I believe the Father forgave me. Have you got forgiveness now? I believe I did. You haven't. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus, because I know my sins are forgiven, because I know that he died for me. Jesus said this from his own lips, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. God had sex with Mary. Listen, it's not for long. That's a big blasphemy. No, for me that's a huge blasphemy. The Greek word for begotten can mean only, so it means one and only, right? It doesn't mean sex. No, it doesn't mean that. No, listen to the Greek. One and only. Yeah? Jesus said this. He said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For the people at that time, you know, not for you. Jesus, why, why only me? Why listen, about the Moses? Listen, 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 it's for you. Listen. For God so loved the world. Are you in the world? Yeah. Right. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, yeah. that whoever believes on him yeah. shall not perish but have everlasting life. Do you believe in Jesus as well? So, so I'm not saying so no, I'm not disagreeing with you. Don't believe in Jesus. You do believe in Jesus. Yeah, and we love Jesus more than you love Jesus. You don't worship Jesus. You don't worship Jesus. You don't worship even Jesus. Every knee shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You have because he is the Son of God. Okay, wait, let me say this here. Jesus came out of a woman. He came out of a woman. Jesus is the Son of God who died for you. He is the Son of God who gave his life. He is the Son of God. God who gives you peace and joy. He is the Son of God who gives you power. He is the Son of God who gives you hope. He is the Son of God who gives you strength. He is the Son of God. No man was like him. No man in history was like him. Nobody influenced history like Jesus Christ. Nobody influenced science, philosophy, anything like Jesus Christ. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end of one day. One day he's coming back. One day he's coming back. Yeah, when he comes God. back, he's when he comes back, you got to trust him. You got to look to him. You got to believe in him. You got to do it now because when he comes back, he's not coming back as a savior. He's coming back with a sword to judge. So right now you need to repent. You need to turn to him. And if you continue to walk the way you're walking, you're not going to be blessed. You need to turn to the Lord. You need to turn to him and find peace in him and joy in him and love in him and hope in him and strengthen him that's what you need to do you need to escape the wrath of god the wrath of god listen listen ten commandments you're neglecting the father have no other gods before me why are you neglecting the father allah is a false god okay why are you neglecting you're breaking the ten commandments is the father do not use the lord's name in vain you're cursing the name of jesus by saying that he's not god why are you worshiping jesus and you're cursing the name of jesus what about the father when you're saying he's not god what about the father Thou shalt not lie. Have you lied? Have you lied? Thou shalt not steal. Have you stolen? Have you stolen? I've broken commandments. Yes. But I've repented. I repented and I've come well. to know Jesus. I repented as You've not I come Jesus. to believe in Jesus. And I know Jesus. You need to trust in him Allah. and believe in him as your Savior. Believe and Jesus. believe in him as your King. Believe the and believe in him as your Lord. And Lord. believe in him. There are certain in the early in church. How did, how did Islam prosper? How did Islam, prosper? How did Islam move forward? How was Dawa done? Preaching. Same as you're doing right now. Was Dawa done as preaching well, in doing, the time of you're, Muhammad? You're preaching yeah, for Jesus and forgetting the Father. No, 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 no. Father. Was, was Dawa done? Was Dawa done, sir? Was Dawa done? Was Dawa done? By preaching? No. It was done by sword. No, it doesn't. Jesus said, yeah, Dawa I, I do not peace. I came sword. with the sword. Jesus said Islam that. spread by sword. Jesus said, I did not come with peace, I but came with a sword. Rest now, alone. did the Apostle Paul use any weapons? Saul, Saul cut people's Did the head. Apostle Peter use Saul, any weapons? Saul was taking killing Christians, he was beheading them, and had them in Boston. Yeah, he came to know Jesus. And then Jesus. he wrote in your Bible. Did they use God, weapons? Like God. No, the early church, why if is, you read... Why did Saul write in your Bible? My friend, have you, you ever read the book of Acts? Have you ever read the book of Acts? Book of Acts, If you read the book of Acts, the church advances by the power of the Holy Spirit, not by weapons, not by fighting, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. And they turn the world, they turn the world upside down. Now listen, 
They were murdered. Wait, can I say this? They were There's murdered. Polycarp was Christians. murdered. They are Christians in Arab countries. Listen, they are Christians today, yeah? Polycarp. Still in Arab countries. Sir, so Polycarp. So if Polycarp. by the sword, yeah? Polycarp. How come there are Christians still there in Arab countries? How come? years of age. How come the Coptics are still there in Egypt? To this day, nobody touched them. Nobody ever touched them. Eighty years of age. Explain that to me. Explain that to me. If it's not said by the sword, how come there's Christians How many millions of Christians were there in the Middle East a few years ago? No, there are still... Millions. How many are in the Middle East now? People convert. People They've gone. Religion. Genocide. There's no genocide. Who genocides them? Genocide Who genocide the Christians you in the Middle East? Christians. We don't talk about it. You were burning Christians at the stake. We don't talk about you it. Christians you don't talk about you were burning Christians at the stake. Who yes no? genocides the Christians of in the years Middle ago, East? You're the one who Tens genocide. of millions of Christians you did genocide against Christians. in the last few years. You did Christian, you did Christian church has been blown up, decimated, raped, pillaged in the Middle East. Your life. And who was it? Look at the Crusades. By the Kurds? Look at the Crusades. No. Look at the Crusades. By the Iraqis? You came to Muslim no. countries, tried to convert them. By ISIS. By ISIS. Crusades. ISIS. Crusades. And where did Crusades. ISIS get their teaching Crusades from? Crusades tried to convert us. You only have to read the Quran. By force. And you have 100 by force. and odd surahs that talk about violence. Right? So don't talk about violence. Hold you back. You should hold you back. So don't talk about violence. You try to come Islam. with Christianity yes. by force. Don't even lie. Don't even lie. Jesus Christ. No, Jesus never taught about violence. Muhammad taught about violence. You're a liar. Jesus so said, any I came with the sword. I any Christians, with peace. Any Christians don't lie. Don't lie. who've done violence, they're not doing it because of Jesus. The Bible they're says doing it because of. Hey, not because, because of what not. Jesus taught, but in the Quran, the in the Quran, there are a hundred and odd verses, I can you so many one hundred verses, verses in the Bible that talk oh, about killing, jihad. Killing babies. This politically correct age wants I to put his head under the carpet. The politically the correct the age says, "Oh, you're Don't Islamophobic," but just read your Quran Psalms, and tell me if I'm Islamophobic. I'll tell you Psalms. what you are. You're brainophobic Psalms because you that. ain't using your brain and reading your Quran. And finding out slaves, what the Quran so says teaches. Your Bible. It is wrong to Jesus fight. teaches about love. He teaches about his love for Jesus you. Said, that he loved you and died for you. Sword. And there's power in that Bible, love. Man. There's power in him. Don't I love this people. hymn. Don't oh, like the deep, deep love of Jesus. It is fast and measured, boundless free. We love Jesus more than you, love. Rolling as a might. No, you don't. Yes, you do. dishonor Jesus. No, we don't. We pray like you Jesus. dishonor we him. Like you Jesus. We don't you do dishonor talk. the word. How many, how many talk have you You don't even follow your own Quran. How much pork have you eaten? You don't even follow your own Quran, sir. Jesus never ate pork in his life. You don't even Jesus never ate pork. You don't even. How much pork have you eaten? You don't even follow the Quran. How many sausages? How many hamburgers? Surah 634. Jesus never ate burger. Never ate beef. Surah 634. Oh. You don't even know your own religion. Read it, then. read it. You read don't it. even know your own religion. Go and study, go read study it. with read these it. imams. Read it. These hack scholars in Hyde Park. You eat sausages Islam. every single day. They're bullying Christians and picking on them all the time. Sausages every single day, Jesus man. Christ, Jesus Christ. Never and these Muslim pork. apologists Jesus call it. Listen, pork. these Muslim apologists call it. These Christian preachers hate preachers. And I was on, I was watching one of these. hate preacher. One of these Muslim apologists and one of their friends has been to Adol Shaudry March or something like that. It's fake. You've got to sort yourselves out. Adam Jesus Christ. He him. shed his blood he for you. He even made a video about that. Don't lie to you. Don't lie to No, you need to trust in Jesus. Jesus. You're lying. You need to You're trust lying. in him and look to him, sir. You're lying. Is it wrong to fight? Is it wrong to fight? Adam Chowdhury went to him in his own demonstration. As a Christian, to, he never to, went to him. To Don't lie to the people. Vengeance. Yeah. Yes, the state. If you read Paul. Paul says the state. Saul, Saul, not Paul. No, Saul. Paul says that the state Saul, the has was the sword to judge. Yeah. So the state has the right. So if you become a Christian and you join the state and there's an army, you can fight. But personally, you cannot take up arms and start kicking off. Everywhere. So in an Islamic state, can I can I kill someone just like that? If I am a Muslim, can I kill a Christian just like that? No, because in, in, no, state, because in your because in your Quran it says in war. Sorry, sorry. I you lie, you became Muslim all day. Myself. In it's your like, Quran, like when even the Christians now, run over Muslims outside their mosque. In your Quran, it's just like when the Christians throw acid in the Muslim people's faces. In your Quran, listen, in your Quran, you don't like When the Christians throw the acid in the Muslim faces, it's okay, yeah? Listen, this is in your Quran. When the Christians run over the Muslims outside their mosque, it's okay. I'll become a Muslim. I'll become a Muslim. Is that okay? I'll become a Muslim. So it's okay for you. It's okay for you. And it's wrong for us. Listen, Only because you follow Jesus, okay. yeah? Sir, is sir. it okay to throw asses in people's faces that come? Okay. Huh? That's okay. Sir, Quran, Quran, let's is get back okay? to the Quran. 
Let's get back to your okay. Quran. Yeah? Only because we were Muslims. If we were like the Jews, we have the cash. You won't do that. Let me get back to your Quran. Only because we're quiet. No, no, no. Let's go to the Quran. Only because we're quiet. Let's get back to the Quran. If we were just like the Jews, I'll become a Muslim right now. I'll become a Muslim. Explain to me. You won't dare come next to us. Explain to me. Just because we are quiet. Give me a hug, sir. And the Quran teaches us to be quiet. Give me a hug. Hug me, bro. I'm fine. Come on, hug me. Show me some love. Islam teaches me to love you. Give me a hug. Islam teaches on, me to love you. No. I love you. From the inside of my heart, I love you. Oh, well, give it to me, bro. Come and on. I hope, give it to me. I hope okay. over the days you will actually find okay. out the true religion right. and Islam. Let's talk about your Quran. Let's talk about Islam your Quran. Let's talk about your Quran. It's not Christianity. I'll become a Muslim right now. I'll become a Muslim. I, I'm sorry. I'll become a Muslim right now if you explain to me this. I apologize. In the Quran. Right? I'll become a Muslim right now if you explain. In the Quran, it talks about in war. That you can crucify your enemy, crucify them, and the chop Bible, off and chop, head. chop off their hands. Is that just? What about you and the blood that just that Muslims' heads? End of debate. 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 It's you Jesus pick, God. cherry pick all the time. It's Jesus you cherry pick the, the the Bible. You say Jesus isn't God, and you cherry pick it's all the Jesus time. Well, okay, 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 You're okay. a cherry Where? picker. Where did he say that Jesus? Muslims are cherry picker. I have a cherry pick. Jesus had a God. What I have Jesus told you God. is scholarship. I am giving you scholarship. I can give you the scholarship of what I've just said. I come prepared. I did two days intensive study before I came down. I studied. I studied your, it's your Jesus Islamic God. apologies. No, I have Jesus. all my information here. Where, look, where, 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 look, where, look. Where, where, where. It's Jesus God. I come with scholarship. Okay, okay, That's okay. Nothing. What's up? And your Quran. They're black papers. And your He's Quran. Black. Okay, what's up? Black. 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 It can be anything. It can, so anything. it can be anything in that folder. Anything. That's a lie. What's up? It can be anything, man. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's I come with scholarship, and in it's your Quran, it teaches that in war you can crucify your enemies. Jesus God. That's an absolute joke. Absolute anathema. That is not true. In war, you disintegrate your enemies. Jesus Christ is your savior. You need Christ as the Lord. You need your him bomb, as your yeah, your bomb, you your bomb, your Lord, you need him as your king. Is your you bomb disintegrates the body. That's who you is need. God? You need He's Christ. Bomb, yeah. If is a bomb God? falls on this Muslim, it's Jesus God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, so it's Jesus God. Okay. You do one, it every single time. Times one times one, what is that? Seven. It's Jesus God. One plus one plus one. One times one. One plus one plus one. One times one times one. One plus one times one times one. What is it? It's Jesus God. Answer the question. It's Jesus God. One times one times one. You try to justify your belief. And oh, the it's Jesus He's God. God. You know, I'm logic. It's a yes or no. It's a yes or no. Shed blood for you. He gave his life, uh, and that's what you need. Who God saved him? God saved Jesus. Jesus. That's what you need. God you need Jesus. Christ Don't in your life. You need Christ in your life. Don't lie about Jesus. Jesus said this. Don't lie. It's Jesus Listen. God. I'm a liar. It's yes, Jesus God. Because God Prove saved it. Jesus. When God said, when Jesus said, "Yeah, God, why have you forsaken me?" I believe God didn't forsake him. I believe God saved him. That's what I believe. I do not believe Jesus. God forsaken Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Who said this? Jesus rose from the dead. No, he didn't. So he was not forsaken. He didn't. He didn't rise from the dead. Jesus you only die once. Said this. You only die I once. I am the vine. When he comes back, he's going to die. I am the vine and you are the branches. You need to be in the vine. Jesus die. said. So Jesus, Jesus is going to come back Paul and die twice. Said, Paul Jesus said. Jesus twice. Paul said this. Why? Paul said How's this, my fair? friend. Paul said this. In. Paul said, in Christ. 200 and 216 times in Christ. You need to be in Christ. You need to be in Him. You need to be in the Lord. You're walking in the way of Adam, the way of the world, the way of the flesh, the way of pride, the way of sin. You are not free from your sin. You have not broken free from it. You are captured by your lust. You are captured by your own nature. You have not broken from it. And you are coming under bondage with Sharia law. Sharia law is putting you under bondage. And God has set you Free. Christ has set, set you free. Christ has set you free from Christ has set you free. The Bible has set you free. The Bible is the same. Set you free. What's that? The Christian law, yeah, and the Sharia law is the same. Go read the Old Testament. It's the exact same. 
We're not under Sharia law. Yeah, we're, 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 we're not under law. The Old Testament law, yeah, and no. the Sharia law is the same. Tell me what law. It's the same. Tell it's me the laws. You're a Christian lawyer that God set down. I'll give you a 101 in, in Christian theology. There are three kinds of laws in the Old Testament. There is the ceremonial law, okay? Ceremonial. Okay. Then there's national law, and then there are Ten Commandments. The ceremonial laws were for Israel, and the national laws were for Israel. The Ten Commandments are for all time. The Ten Commandments can be summed up as this. Love your neighbor as yourself. So the Ten Commandments still stand today, but we obey them in the power of the Holy Spirit. Was there no sanction? the ceremonial law, listen, so, so no, no, no. The ceremonial law, we're not under that. What you're doing in Islam is you're taking us back to the ceremonial law. So God was wrong. You're taking us back to bondage. So God was wrong. You're taking us back to bondage. What's wrong with that You're taking us back to bondage. And you're bringing people into bondage and binding people. What is wrong with the old law? And Jesus came. Is, to the law of God. What's wrong with is it right to what throw homosexuals okay, if God said and that, kill homosexuals? If God said that, what's wrong with it? No, I've just explained if God it. Said that, why is wrong with it? Because we're not under the law, so the God. ceremonial law. Okay, so what's wrong with Because that Jesus was Jesus, said, right? That, that was Jesus. Jesus. Said, no, because that was Jesus. Because it, says, it says in John. Wasn't that Jesus? Wasn't that Jesus? Wasn't that Jesus? Let me finish. In the Gospel of John. Are you calling it injustice? In the Gospel of John, it says, the law was given by Moses, but Jesus came with grace and truth. We're in the dispensation of the grace and truth of Jesus. And Jesus Christ died for homosexuals. So we don't throw homosexuals off, off buildings like they do in Islamic countries. So God was wrong. We show them mercy and we preach the gospel to them. And we tell them the love of Jesus. So we tell them they can find the love of Jesus. But in Islam, in Islam, you have the Sharia law and gay people are dead. I correct you, brother. I correct you. Jesus Christ shed his blood for you. He gave his life. I and you need that power, you need that joy, you need that love, you need that goodness in your life. Jesus loved you. He turned to him. Turn to him. Turn to the Lord today. Come away before you end up in hell. All the wrath of God will come upon you. So come out. And come to the blessings of Jesus, Jesus. who took the wrath that you deserve. Jesus died for when he died on that cross, he died as a loving saviour. So trust him. Is Jesus the author of the Old Testament? Shake my hand. Is he the author of the Old Testament? Who? Is it in the Quran? I love you Muslims, I love you. Yeah, God bless you. I don't say this in any way. Isis, 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 thank you.